Hello, my name is Caden Dykes, and today I'm here to talk to you about my informative speech. First, I will start with my environment that I picked at the beginning of the semester. And here we go. Imagine this, a beautiful three-story beige home sitting on an island of green grass surrounded by a beautiful horseshoe lake of clear amber-colored water. This glorious haven also features a floating dock house complete with a wraparound deck and full-service wet bar to be used for relaxing days of fishing or just chilling in your leisure time. All of this beauty is lacking one comforting thing though. One may ask, what else could possibly be missing from this scenario, this comforting scenario? The answer is a loving companion, such as a four-legged furry buddy to spend your time with. As stated by alifeoflovely.com, when an animal is brought to a home, it is more than just an introduction to the household. It is the adoption of a new family member. There is something to be said about coming home to a, four, to a tail wagging fuzzy ball of happiness. Dogs are like constant welcoming committees that are happy to see you just like it was their first time every time they see you. I may ask, how many of you own a dog? For those of you that do, did you adopt, did you adopt from a shelter? For the rest of you, that have you ever considered adopting from a shelter? Like many of you, I too have a dog that I adopted from a shelter about six months ago. Dog adoption is a cost-effective way to add a pet to the family that will yield all the benefits of owning a pet while helping an animal in need. Not only can I say that I have experienced pet adoption, but I've also done my research on the topic in preparation for this speech. I'm going to inform you of some of the history behind the creation of dog shelters and talk about the processes involved in adopting a dog. So let's start from the beginning with some history about dog shelters. According to the Pet Resort, according to PetResort.com, the Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, the SPCA, was formed in Britain, which led to an organized group that promoted the importance of dog welfare. In 1866, the SPCA made its way all the way to the United States where the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to, Anim to Animals was formed. The American Humane Society was formed in 1877, and by the 1960s 1970s, private and community animal shelters were opened. These types of places promoted housing strays until they can be adopted into a caring home. These events are also what led to shift opinions about stray dogs. The public once viewed them as health hazards, and if they were not reclaimed, they would be killed for their cash value. Adoption now at most shelters requires you to fill out paperwork and agree to the terms of the shelter, such as you cannot request a refund once like you fill out all your paperwork for the adoption fee. You can return the dog after two weeks of the adoption date, but it's still non-refundable. You must also wait a week before you can get the animal because they have to have a surgery done to where they cannot reproduce. He slash she also has to get all their vaccines and shots if not done so already. In conclusion, like I said earlier, dog adoption is a cost effective way to add a pet to the family that will yield all the benefits of owning a pet while also helping an animal in need. Today I've told you about the history behind how shelters and dog adoption first started and if you ever decide that you want a furry companion i hope you will consider the benefits of adopting and the benefits of changing an animal's life thank you